hi everyone and lovely kings and queens most welcome back to e21 this is regina the blessed the favored and the unstoppable and e2021 is here to remind us of what god expects us to know and to realize even as we continue enjoying this race towards his great destiny for us now i bless god for these far kings and queens for the things that he reveals to us teaches us in different ways and the most exciting thing that i love about god is that he's not a one-sided god kings and queens if you are there out there expecting god to teach us only in one way on each one teach one then i'm sorry that is not bound to happen that is not actually going to happen kings and queens because our god wants us to realize that there are different ways for him to teach us kings and queens could he, he could use the bible he could use other people's experiences he could use my experience or your experience in life to actually mold and shape us to become better versions of ourselves so don't have don't be out there having only a one way of thinking of viewing of being each one teach one kings and queens or actually viewing god's way of molding you and shaping you in your life kings and queens now most welcome back today's topic actually i would like to share or to touch something to do with prayer touch on something to do with prayer kings and queens and i'm hoping that this will be a blessing to someone out there could be one person could be two could be a thousand i don't know but god knows better why he has actually placed it as a burden in my heart to share on this topic today now in the bible there are so many verses especially in the new testament of god actually advising us and god's way of recommending on what to do to us on what to do when it comes to prayer there are places that he actually reminded us to pray without ceasing he also took his time to actually teach us on the lord's prayer kings and queens in some parts of the bible also he has also advised us on what to do when we are praying when he is talking to us about you know when and when you pray you can go to your room just kneel down or close your eyes go to us to a secluded place and just pray to your god all these things are concerning prayer kings and queens now there is a reason why god took his time through his different different uh, uh, disciples to actually speak to us different stories also in the bible to speak to us or to remind us about prayer and i got interested to know more about prayer when we pray what, what really happens and what's the importance of us being being in the spirit when we are praying kings and queens because there is also a part that actually speaks to us about being in spirit pray in the spirit have you been out there in your life and you have an experience where you pray and you feel like the, those prayers have not gone anywhere past my rooftop and yet you are a believer and you are a follower of Christ what really goes on what's wrong why is it that sometimes when we pray we feel like the, the prayers are not going anywhere they are just there within that room or that place that you are actually praying in or at and there are things that God wants us to realize there's something that God wants us to realize that the first step into praying the first step even before God actually hears your prayer is for you to be deeply rooted in God that's why we speak about restoration back to God having been deeply rooted in Christ deeply rooted in God that that is you you are on the same lane you are you are in line with your God kings and queens it means you whenever even when you're praying you are praying in the spirit and your prayers is not just a waste of time and there is also another thing that god is revealing to us today maybe you are, you've just woken up it's morning afternoon or evening wherever you are i want you to listen and listen good kings and queens because god 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 has a special way of advising us and making us know what really goes on even in the spiritual realm and there's something that I want you to understand about prayer. Once you have already taken that step of being deeply rooted in God in your own ways and in accordance to God's will, kings and queens, your prayer requests and your needs and everything that you need in your life, whenever you bow down and present it before God, kings and queens, is not taken lightly anymore. 
you become a special being now you are taken to a higher spiritual realm kings and queens and your issues are now handled in a special way even in heaven the best example that i would actually give you think of yourself as a best friend to a king somewhere in the real life now or even a son or a close relative to this king in the in 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 the in, in this world kings and queens just an example and you present your needs before this king do you think that your need will be taken that king will take your need so lightly personally i don't think so in the kind of life that we live no unless you're not so connected with this person kings and queens as the leader the king in a certain kingdom kings and queens then your needs will be well taken care of because you are well connected kings and queens with this person there is a special bond between the two of you that this king cannot rest until he sees he sees actually that your need is well taken care of whatever it, it might be maybe not right there and then but he sits down and actually takes care of that takes time to think about that problem that issue and solves solves actually solves it soon as possible and I was amazed when God actually was revealing to me this thing that it's the same thing that actually happens when you're deeply rooted in Christ when you are in line with your God kings and queens it's not about uh, it's not a matter of, of of your status how much money you have what you have and or what you don't have how beautiful how ugly people think you are how short how tall where you come from when it comes to you being in God and in line with God your issues and all your needs anything name it be it food be it your academics be it your job there is a special council that takes care of your needs and they just sit sit and discuss your problems and your issues and that is one of the most important privilege and benefit that God has revealed to us wherever you are out there of being deeply rooted and being in line with your god kings and queens that your needs are now you have taken you have been taken now to a higher spiritual level to the next level now and your issues are well taken care of that god takes everything when you cough god takes takes that seriously and you are given now the seriousness that you should have and you are actually entitled to but person uh, we have actually chosen not to take this advantage of that privilege because we have chosen not to take our position in Christ so how can god yes god loves all, all of us and god hears the prayers of all but when it comes to you being deeply rooted in Christ you become like the child of a king and so your needs are, are actually taken care of in a special and unique way this council of heaven sits down to discuss your your issues your problems whatever concerns you as a king and queen out there kings and queens who is deeply rooted and in line with god kings and queens they sit down and discuss these issues they present them before god this is this is and they, they are actually looking is this person does they does this person actually deserve this and that's why i have learned so far to take my prayers very seriously when i commit to god my my needs and my my request I don't just I'm not just doing it to waste my time because God takes it seriously. So when he is advising you and I to pray without ceasing, it's not for granted that he says that. And also in especially to pray in the spirit. How can you be in the spirit if you're not deeply rooted in God? And that's that's why most of us are falling under this group of people that I gave you an example of. who when they pray at times and most times they feel there's your maombi haijapita rooftop the importance of praying praying sorry in the spirit kings and queens and being deeply rooted in with your queen in Christ Jesus and also being in line with your god kings and queens is that your issues are handled in a special way the council of heaven sits down to discuss your matters and takes it seriously kings and queens remember the story of job 
he was deeply rooted in God to a point that even the enemy himself could not just go and start attacking Job anyhow. Ask yourself out there, are you deeply rooted in your in God? Are you deeply rooted? Are you in line with your God such that even the enemy himself has no place in your heart, has no place in whatever it is that you have, your money, your resources, your whatever it is that you have, your blessings, your investments. That he has to go to this council, he has to go present his case before God. And the council sits down and discusses and agrees to give him permission or not. Because it's headed by God, kings and queens. The heavenly council. People that are entitled to the heavenly council are people who are in line with God, kings and queens. I don't know who I'm speaking to out there. But this is a message. I know that when God speaks, he's speaking to someone out there, kings and queens. I'm personally challenged. To realize that prayer is not just something that you just wake up and say, let us pray. Praying in the spirit also, God is teaching us that praying in the spirit means that you are connected with this person, this God, and you are deeply rooted in Christ, kings and queens. So the, one of, the second advantage and privilege of us being in the spirit and being deeply rooted and being in line with this God, heaven, living God, kings and queens, is that the enemy has no place in your heart, in your life, in whatever it is God has blessed you with, be it a spouse, be it your children, be it your investment, be it your house, your home, your cars. He has no access to these things. He has to present his case before God. And the ones that can, unless the council of heaven that actually handles your business accepts and agrees to this and gives him permission, kings and queens, he cannot attack you, kings and queens. It's a challenge that we have chosen, individually chosen, deliberately chosen not to be deeply rooted in God. That's why the enemy takes care, takes advantage of this openness that you have. Do well, go? That's what we call in Kikuyu. You have there is no no borders in you. There is no boundary, so the enemy can enter through north, south, east, or west, up and down, anyhow. He doesn't need to present his case before God, kings and queens. Because you're not deeply rooted in God, kings and queens. And you're not also deeply rooted in Christ. And you're not in line with this heavenly father that we are living for, kings and queens. It's a challenge. So I'm just here to remind you that there is a heavenly council that takes care of the needs. And all the requests that those people who are deeply rooted in God have actually presented before him, kings and queens. It takes care of your needs. It's like a special agency for you. That when you cough, some God to God, that cough is not just something light. I desire to be in that level of spiritual realm where, where kings and queens, where, where, where the council of heaven sits down and approves or disapproves things in my life on my behalf. Because it's led by God, the heavenly council. Blessed be the heavenly council that takes care of the needs of those who have individually chosen to be deeply rooted in God and deeply rooted in Christ Jesus and who have learned to be in connection with their God such that when they pray, they are praying in the spirit and the council knows when you are crying, when you are mourning, when you are happy, it handles whatever it is that you need. Just a, a, like the child of a king, kings and queens. You are a king out there because you, as long as you are in Christ, you reign together with, with Christ. You are in Christ. So before God, you are a king, kings and queens. Take up your position in Christ Jesus and realize that this heavenly council is just waiting for you to approve what God has actually told you to do in his word. The process, getting born again, being baptized, believing and confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord in your life. And you enter now a spiritual realm where your needs are well taken care of. It's being taken care of. Whatever you need, whatever God has placed in your life is now under this special care. Whatever you need, you present it before God and the council sits down to discuss your issues and your matters. That's just how special God wants us to realize we are. But how can we actually exercise this kind of privilege if we are not taking advantage? And not, we, have, we are actually not taking up, taking up our, pos, our positions in Christ Jesus. It's up to you to decide. Do you want to be in this realm? I personally want to. 
and I cried to God and I told him I want to be to be my name to be under this council that takes care of you know this special agency in heaven that actually takes care of the needs of all those who are deeply rooted in Christ and those who are actually in line with you God. Blessed be the the council that actually takes care of the needs of all those who truly are truly deeply rooted in Christ and have chosen without being forced without being coerced to do it they have chosen to be in line with their god kings and queens so today was about was about prayer reminding you of this heavenly council that god has revealed to us that that heavenly council is there yes but it's up to us to give it the responsibility to take care of our needs that when we call to god it's not just someone na uko anapiga kelele mahali we are not just making noise we are not wasting our time but the heaven we are, we are it's, it's it's a way of god actually reminding us that there is we are that special when we are deeply rooted in god and in line with him and the enemy will not just come to attack us anyhow the council has to sit down and approve these things and approve whatever it is that every little detail in your life the council has to approve it kings and queens that is the level that god expects us to reach kings and queens even as we continue proceed uh, or actually proceed and continue running after god's great destiny for us now continue enjoying your race remember to always t- know your lane ask god to show you your lane be strongly and deeply rooted in god and in line with him and he'll show you your, what your lane is and why he has actually kept you alive so far He'll show you how to stick on your lane and please once you know your lane stick on it run after God's great destiny for you and remember to keep smiling to keep remember to enjoy this race towards reaching God's great destiny for you and I can I, I can promise you kings and queens I can guarantee you that you're going to reach God's great destiny for you and fulfill it when you're still in this world when you're still breathing kings and queens because our God is a, is, is faithful and is actually a promise keeper Now remember to bless God for the heavenly council that takes care of us when we personally choose and individually choose and freely choose to be deeply rooted in God in Christ and also to be in line with our God kings and queens. Now I've got to come to an end. Have a lovely afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are or night. Remember that our good God loves us. He will never ever leave us. He will never forsake you or I. Once you know that and strongly believe it in your heart, please keep running after God's great destiny for you.